Alrighty, I'm recording this using my Evo 3D and the ice cream sandwich ROM. This person left a really nice comment on my video. Yeah. If you ever see this, thank you, dude. Thank you. I don't know how to get the thing to show up right. I'm using USB 2.0. It's a little warm, but it's not hot. I've been running it for a good 30 minutes or more now. I actually have it going into the back of this pluggable USB hub. And I got this rubbed against the wall. And it messed up the pluggable logo. So now I have to get another one. Well, I don't have to get another one, but it's pretty scratched up. This is a pretty awesome charger. I, I'm literally... Like, finding batteries that you know, been tossed out, no longer wanted, and like every one of them is coming back to life with this. I did an unboxing video. I haven't edited it yet, but I will. I want to play with it, and I'm doing this stupid time-lapse thing. I'm going to have it go through and charge a set of batteries, and every every minute it's taking one frame, so 30 frames in a second. So when one second goes by, it's like 30 minutes. But anyways, uh, I have this set to not do anything at all. Um, it's really hard to see. Let me close out some of these apps, apps, programs. Where is the, here we go. Uh, and then you click right here, and then you choose, uh, extend and now it's back over here and whenever I take over here I can just drag it okay <laughs> I need to click on extend to left now I can take this and drag it over here. It's pretty freaking sweet. Like I said, I don't know how to get the edges to go perfect. But in time. In time. If you're not using FB Purity. Then uh, I highly recommend it. It cleans up Facebook. But anyways, this is the pluggable thing. Uh, I got this one port. This is USB 2.0, all of them. This one's hooked up to the mouse because it's a really bad connection. And if I lose my mouse connection, I can just wiggle it and it connects again. But, yeah, this is meant for 3.0. But the point of this video is to show you that it does work on 2.0. I'm even going to, I don't really, well, I can go to my videos. I'll click on the one I just did. <laughs> Wait. What? Wait. My is running. Can you walk? Can you if you walk? notice, the audio is actually coming through this TV. No, with your walker. Walk down the hallway with your walker. But yeah, it says coming to the TV. So that's pretty neat. No, I'm gonna make a video in here. Now I'm gonna make it full screen. You need a new walker. Why? That one sucks. I need to make a video on this awesome. The thing. quality is actually About pretty good. I got a package in the mail. Nah. Uh, I'll show you what I have it on. I have the resolution set to 1280 by 720. Because if you do 1920 by 1080, it looks like crap. This is actually a 1080p LED TV. So, it's 1080p, but when you do 1080p, it looks like just... Looks bad. I'll set it to 1080p real quick. I can always change it back.
Da, 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 da. See, everything is sh like. It's just. Hmm. It's harder to see stuff. But yeah, that's 1080p. It, it, you can barely make things out. So, I just keep it on 720. It, 1080p worked just fine on my. Uh, using my G74SX and using 1080p. So I'm going to change it back to 720. It's definitely doable. The quality of the video is actually pretty good. I'll play this video real quick. Stop. Play. There's no sound. It was just a screen capture of me um, doing my phone, my transform. But, I mean, the quality is... De USB 2.0 is definitely usable. And that was the whole point of this video. That is a 2.0 hub. I have the pluggable. I use this because it's a gigabit connection. And it's actually hooked up to a gigabit uh, router. So... It's going at 480 megabits per second instead of 100, which is what normal Ethernet is on that two-year-old computer. Then I got this crappy phone charging, and then I have the pluggable. It says USB 3.0 right there. And then this one, I hook up to my camera that goes up there. It's, in, it's not in here right now, but this is doable. It literally is doable. I would get this even if you had 2.0. And if you ever do get 3.0, then you can do 1080p and it won't look bad at all. When I, when I chose 1080p on the video I posted yesterday, you wouldn't be able to tell because the camera wasn't really focused on the actual TV screen. But the quality was like, kind of looked like this. Well, when I had it on 1080p and you could barely make out the words, it kind of looked like that. So, when, when I switched it to the 2.0 port, when I switched it back to the 3.0 port, 1080p was crystal clear. So, this is truly an awesome product. And I was on YouTube today looking at costs of other adapters. And other adapters are much bigger than this one. And they retail for like $139 or more. It's crazy. I... <laughs> now my desktop's showing up right here. Oh, because I was doing a screen capture. That's right. This is just a VLC. This is truly, truly, like, <laughs> I want to get a monitor now. This is my daughter's TV. This is just, a, this is a normal TV from Best Buy. I want to get an actual monitor now so, um, for my G74SX, but I don't have a monitor Editing videos on a 24 or 22-inch monitor would be a lot better than editing videos on a monitor this size. This is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. It's worth it. Get it. This is Josh's nice and I'm out.